Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me on these little amateur radio adventures. Well, is it easy to hard to shop for your favorite ham radio operator? If you don't have any knowledge or understanding of the amateur radio hobby, it might be really difficult to pick out a gift that they like. Or, if you're an active ham yourself, you may find that your interests may lie, may lie outside of what they are interested in. So with that in mind, I've created a gift guide of amateur radio items and related accessories that will certainly pique uh, their curiosity and will be a great choice for just about any amateur radio operator. Uh, links to these items can be found in the video description below or check them out on my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. So, uh, with this year's uh, gift list, I've taken an interest in go kits and everyday carry items. So, uh, the first few of these uh, stocking, stuffer, stocking stuffer items would be perfect for your go bag or everyday carry. First off is the Pocket Monkey, a 12 in 1 credit card sized multi tool. In an effort to slim down what I carry, I picked up the Pocket Monkey and slipped it into my wallet. Uh, this device is, is very slim, TSA compliant, because it doesn't contain a blade, and also uh, has handy things like a bottle opener, a screwdriver, letter opener, ruler, wrench, and even a lockpick. At around $12, it's a perfect stocking stuffer. Next up, since the Pocket Monkey doesn't contain a blade, the, the next item I selected is the Opino number 8 folding pocket knife. Uh, the Opino is an insanely sharp an inexpensive pocket knife. The stylish wooden handle uh, protects the three and a quarter inch carbon steel blade. A stainless steel version of the blade is also available. And a locking collar keeps things in place while you're using the knife. Now, this knife design has been around for decades and the classic design and construction has been appreciated for generations. I may, I may be the first uh, to admit I'm not a fan of the tactical look in uh, pocket knives. And since my needs for a knife are more on the lines of opening packages or cutting some meat and cheese for a picnic, I find that, the, uh, that this uh, little open all number eight pocket knife more than enough fits my needs. You can find it on Amazon for about $13. My everyday carrier recommendations uh, concludes with a set of field notes uh, pocket journals. Uh, these stylish little notebooks are perfect to slip into a pocket and are ready to take a note or craft a list. They have a bit of a hipster quality to them, but the nice thing is, is they're made in the USA, which is a plus. And at $10 for a three-pack, uh, they, they might seem a little bit extravagant, but I'd be glad to find a set of these in my stocking. One more stocking stuffer before we move on to the bigger ticket items is the B-Tech APRS cable. Uh, this audio interface cable uh, is, can be used with Baofeng radios or any handheld that has a Kenwood style two pin hand mic connector. Uh, the other end of the cable has a tip ring ring stem uh, mic uh, connector on it so, be, so it can be plugged into pads or uh, smartphones. The cable lets you use your Baofeng or Beep, Beep Tech handheld radio uh, for APRS or packet radio, or you can use it to set up an inexpensive Echolink node. Since just about everyone these days has a smartphone and also a Baofeng radio, uh, this could be the, one of the cheapest ways to get yourself onto APRS. Next up for the experimenter is the 2018 AWRL handbook. Uh, this edition, I've been told, is a major rewrite. So if, you're, if you've got a copy that's more than a few years old, you may want to think about updating your library. I also recommend this book for new hams. Uh, you may find the information in it to be quite technical, but really it's the authoritative reference to amateur radio communications, and you'd do well to have a copy. All right, let's get on the air with some digital radio. Did you know that Yaesu's System Fusion is one of the fastest growing digital mode VHF, UHF modes around? Yaesu has offered some really great incentives to clubs to invest in their System Fusion repeaters, so You'll, you're li more than likely to find a fusion repeater in just a, within range in just about any community. The Yusu FT70R is a digital update to the long-running and extremely durable FT60R dual-band handheld radio. And like its older brother, um, it does a, the FT70R does analog FM on VHF and UHF, but also C4 FM system fusion digital modulation. With a retail price of about $199, it's also quite affordable. 
Let's continue the digital bandwagon with the Signalink USB digital interface. Do you want to check out the new FT8 digital mode? Well, this device makes getting onto HF digital insanely easy. It has a USB connection and built-in sound card. So uh, it, it's really plug and play and works with just about every Windows and Mac computer. You, don't have, you also don't have to worry about audio setting, audio level settings or system sounds bleeding onto the air with this device. And at about $115 for the device with cable, it's, it's a very affordable option. Check out my video on HF email op operation to see the signal link in action. And of course, the gift any ham would love to see under the tree is a new HF radio. The ASU FT891 is an HF plus six meter compact transceiver that's at a very nice price point. It's a compact size, makes it easy to take out for portable operation, plus with a full 100 watts of transmit output power, it's a perfect companion in the shack. A couple of things I like about this radio are is, is its large tuning knob and also very easy to read display. The only downside about this radio is it doesn't have a built-in tuner, but at this price point, you can easily add an accessory tuner without blowing your budget. I hope you found these holiday gift ideas useful. And also, I'd just like to remind everybody that a KB9 VBR 2-meter J-Pole antenna makes a great companion under the tree. Uh, you'll find these antennas on my website at www.jpole-antenna.com. Well, what's on your holiday wish list? Uh, feel free to leave a comment below and also check out my other videos for more holiday gift ideas. And if you enjoyed this video, like always, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing to the videos lets you, uh, notifies you when new ones are going to be available. More videos and articles are on my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Head over there, check them out. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Well, that's it for this year. Um, Michael, KB9VBR, thanks for watching. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and 73.